Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and welcome to your driver ratings and team ratings for the Brazilian Grand Prix. Now, if you're new to driving ratings and team ratings, what I do is I give the drivers a rating, a team a rating, the fastest lap, but driving the weekend, worst driving the weekend, team the weekend, and worst team at the weekend. So let's start off with Red Bull, shall we? Max 10, yep, it's got to be 10. P1 in qualifying, just before I carry on. Please note, I'm not doing any ratings for sprints. It's only for the qualifying and the race. So you find my scores are this little high. That's why higher than MRC racers. But yep, Max 10, it's got to be 10. Dominated the race. Qualifying was not the best, but he timed that perfectly with the changeable weather conditions, got pole position, literally was playing with Norris this way, allowed him DRS, then pulled away. So, yeah, 10 for Max Verstappen. Sergio Perez, 8. Yes, I give Sergio Perez an 8. Much more like it by Sergio Perez this weekend. He needed that. He needed that performance. Qualifying was... Got caught out, obviously, in qualifying. I think he qualified P9. And in the main race, P4 had that epic battle with Fernando Alonso. Unfortunately, though, for Sergio Perez, he did miss out on the podium. So, yeah, I think 8 is a fair score. My team, Ferrari. Carlos Sainz is 6. I mean, yeah. Not a very good weekend to Carlos Sainz. I mean... P6 in the race, decent points though for us in the constructors. So, yeah, not really impressed with our performance this weekend, I'm not going to lie. Leclerc, Sahan, oh my goodness sake, this guy has got to be one of the most unluckiest F1 drivers ever. I mean, this season, he's just, Leclerc's had no luck at times. Go into the grid, hydraulics idea. Lots of power steering, the engine cut out, span, and his car went into the barriers. So that was frustrating for Charles Leclerc. And that really was horrible weekends for Leclerc after qualifying P2 and qualifying. Was looking to go wheel to wheel max and didn't even start a race. Ah, oh, disappointing. Let's get on to the Brackley outfit, Mercedes. Oh my goodness me. Dear me, where do I start with this thing? Just, wow, absolutely unbelievable. How the standards of jobs from this team. A team who dominated the sport for about eight years in a row now cannot seem to get their strategy right. It's absolutely unbelievable. Lewis Hamilton and George Russell, five. I mean, George Russell was clearly faster and Mercedes were like, Nope, but we'll keep you behind. That allowed Perez through, Sainz through, and I believe the Alpines even overtook the Mercedes as well. Shocking, no excuses. And I think you know who's getting worse team in the weekend when I get on to that at the end of the video. Yeah, nowhere near good enough by Mercedes this weekend, honestly. Shocking. McLaren, Lando Norris, 9. Yes, I give Lando Norris a 9. I mean, qualifying was not the best, you know. But in the race, P2, another podium. He is so consistent on the podium this season, Lando Norris. So, yeah, nine. Oscar Piastri, five. It's shocking. I mean, very disappointing. Retired in the race due to a damaged car. Yeah, not good enough that by Oscar Piastri. No excuses. I've praised him a lot this season, but the last two races have not been good enough. It's as simple as that. And on to Alpine. Baguette legs and frog legs. Frog legs. S1. No, Gazi. Eight. Yes, I mean, Gazi and eight. I mean, P15 in qualifying, and then in the race, got up to finish in the points. So that's a really good race by Gazi. That really is. Espan Ocon, 6. I mean, qualifying was not the best. And the race, decent, but nothing really special. So, yeah, I'll give him about an average 6. Daniel Ricciardo and Yuki Tsunoda in the Alpha Tari, 6 of the both. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, 
Wait, I'm going to change that. I'll change that to nine. Yeah, sorry, I was doing that so fast. Yeah, nine. Daniel Cardo six. I mean, just, yeah, it'd become a test session, the race really, for him. So, yeah, that's why you can only really give him an average six, really. One for one, Yuki Tsunoda, nine. Yes, I give Yuki Tsunoda a nine. I mean, superb again. Picks up more points at Alphatari. Just brilliant. On to Aston Martin. Fernando Alonso and Lance Stroll. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 for the both of them. Absolutely outstanding. And that battle, Fernando Alonso defending like a warrior to keep Checo at bay. It looked like Checo, when he overtook a fancy, he was going to get that podium, but... The Spanish king had other ideas and he absolutely sent it going into the Sana S's. I think it was absolutely sent it on Checo and re overtaken him and pipped him to the podium by fine, fine margins. So, what a weekend by Fernando Alonso. Lance Shaw, as I said, 10 for him. He was superb, honestly. P3 in qualifying then. P5 in the race, a driver who needed a massive confidence booster has well and truly got a massive confidence booster after that. Absolutely superb by Lance Stroll, honestly. Bottas and Guan Yuzhou in the Alfa Romeo 5. I mean, Bottas retired and so did Guan Yuzhou. You can't really go any higher than a 5, really. Has K Mag 5. I mean, Obviously got caught up in that turn one carnage with Albon. Yeah, so disappointing that for K-Mag. Obviously he retired. Hulkenberg, seven. I mean, P12 in the race. That's absolutely fantastic. Isn't He didn't score any points. A really good performance that by Nico Hulkenberg. A bit of specialist at this into the Argos circuit. And finally, Williams. Alex Albon and Logan Sargent, six of the both of them. I mean, Albon, you got to mark Albon down for the track limits in qualifying. That's now two races in a row he's been penalised for track limits in qualifying. That really is not good enough by Alex Albon. He's got to improve on that. Logan Sargent, six. I mean, there were quite a few retirements that still he did well to finish B11, so... Yeah, have to give him credit for that. So, that's the driver ratings done. Let's get on to the team ratings. Red Bull 8. I mean, 1 in 4. A very good weekend for the Red Bull team. And Chaco, back to his best. Max dominated to a much better performance by Sergio Perez. Ferrari, 7. I mean, not the best of weekends for us at all, but... Sainz still picks up crucial points in that battle with Mercedes in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes 5, absolutely dreadful, shocking, no pace, and left George Russell hung out to dry an awful weekend for their brackley base outfit. And I tell you what, they are fast becoming like my team Ferrari on strategy Mercedes. It's embarrassing, it really is. McLaren, Saturn, Lando Norris, Superb, Oscar Piastri, shocking. Alpine, Saturn, Baguette Legs and Frog Legs, decent. Uh, but Frog Legs was Ocon, no, Gasly, sorry, was Superb, Gasly. So yeah, that's why I gave him a Saturn. Alpha Terry, Saturn, I mean, unlucky for Daniel Ricciardo, become a test session, but... One for one, superb. Aston, 10. It has to be 10. They were absolutely superb. What a weekend for the green-based outfit. They removed these upgrades off the car, and what happened? What a response. It performed just like the Aston Martin at the start of the season. Fantastic by them. Alfa Romeo, 5. By an average. Haas, 7. K-Mag, unlucky in the Turn 1. Carnage with Hellbomb. And Hulkenberg, solid performance. And Williams, six. By an average, by them, really. Albon, very unfortunate to get caught up in that 
incident. But Logan Sargent's decent again, so that's why I give Williams a six. Fastest lap of the race, Lando Norris, 1 minute 12.486. It's starting the race, Alonso, worst showing the weekend, Oscar Piastri. Team of the weekend, Aston Martin, worst team of the weekend. It's going to the Brackley based outfit, Mercedes. Absolutely shambolic with their strategy decisions. Link and George Russell hung out to dry. Yeah, not happy at all. Not happy about that. But anyway, that's the driving ratings done. Team ratings done from the Brazilian Grand Prix. We now go on to Vegas next in a couple of weeks' time. Now, I will not be watching a build-up to that one, because that's going to be an absolute cringe fest. I hardly watch the build-up in races these days anyway. The only build-up I watch really these days are Monaco and Silverstone, really. The rest I could not give a one iota about, honestly. But yeah... That was not the best of race, but I gave about 5 out of 10 in my race with you. Let me know down below what you thought. And yeah, what a weekend by Aston Martin, honestly. Superb. Bye-bye.